And now for our fourth and final issue this week. This is an addendum to our issue last week when we reported that Coca-Cola FEMSA Philippines complained about having a difficult time buying refined sugar from local sources. Heidi Santos has the details. Because Coca-Cola Philippines has formally complained to NEDA about having a hard time sourcing refined sugar from local sources, the government has had to issue a statement saying there is no shortage of sugar in the country. Agriculture Secretary Manny Pinol announced at the Philippine Agriculture and Trade Investment Forum that he will meet with local refiners about their alleged refusal to sell sugar to Coca-Cola. There is much talk that this was brought about by speculation of rising sugar prices in the global market. Sugar Regulatory Administration or SRA board member Roland Beltran said that Coca-Cola has sought help from the SRA. The beverage company, he said, was already assured by the refiners of regular supply. The problem, he said, is the tightness in sugar production and the unreasonable high prices of raw sugar. The refiners are faced with tightness of supply from raw sugar, the prices of which, as I said, is unreasonably high, according to board member Beltan. He further said that with sugar order number 9 reclassifying or converting B sugar for world market sugar to domestic market of B sugar, we now have an increased inventory of sugar for the domestic market and the prices of sugar will necessarily stabilize as a matter of course. Basing on the Visayas average bid prices for the production on the week ending May 13, the price of B sugar jumped by 26.10% from 1,400.47 per 50 kilo bag. It jumped to 1,765 in the last crop year. This is higher by 2.39% from the previous week's price of 1,724 pesos and 69 centavos.